A Houston grand jury said that no criminal charges will be filed against musician Travis Scott for the Astroworld Music Festival tragedy which occurred in 2021. So, no criminal charges. There was a 19-month investigation following the tragedy in which 10 people were killed and hundreds more were injured during a fatal crowd crush. Travis Scott was the primary performer, although Drake was also on stage. And it was argued by many in the media and social media in an attempt to create a media panic it was argued that Travis Scott was culpable that he helped perpetuate the behavior that led to the tragedy again 10 people were killed hundreds more injured so there were a number of cardiac arrests I covered the topic at the time I don't remember all the details but there was footage of several people on the ground in distress later we learned that they were suffering cardiac arrest some survived others didn't very very concerning there was also footage of significant crowd rushes which was leading to crushes so there was a lot of video evidence out there the investigators said that they tracked down every piece of relevant evidence they reviewed thousands upon thousands of hours of video before presenting a case to the grand jury the grand jury concluded that there was not enough evidence to charge Travis Scott with a crime. Further, the grand jury concluded that several other Astroworld organizers have all been cleared of all criminal wrongdoing. Okay, so Travis Scott certainly will not be jailed, will not face criminal charges in relation to his involvement of the Astroworld Festival tragedy in 2021. His involvement was being a performer on stage, singing, rapping, to the crowd, his adoring fans. He did stop the performance on at least three occasions to allow emergency medical services officers to attend to those in distress. My take on it, I'm going by memory, can't remember all the details, but my take on it is Travis Scott was trying to do the right thing. When he was aware that people were in distress, he did what he could to alert medical emergency services, to allow medical emergency services to have better access to those that required attention. Could Travis have done more? Perhaps. We've seen other musicians go further. They've paused their concerts for several minutes. They've alerted all of the other people in the crowd to make way to allow medical services to attend those that are injured or in distress. So could Travis Scott have done more? Perhaps so. But certainly he did, I would think, enough. He paused the concert on at least three occasions. And of course, he wouldn't have been aware of every single person in distress there were I would think tens of thousands of people in the crowd so from a personal point of view as a fan of Travis Scott's music I am comforted I am relieved that he has been declared to be cleared of all criminal wrongdoing along with several others not necessarily all others but several other Astro World organizers now of course in America you can be cleared of criminal wrongdoing but still subject to civil lawsuits and that very much is the case there are apparently more than 400 civil lawsuits against Travis Scott, also against the Live Nation business, organized company. Live Nation is the concert promoters. They're a very large, prominent organization. I'm going to say most or certainly many major artists, major concerts will be managed to some extent by Live Nation. So they're not a small entity. Also, other people involved are still facing civil lawsuits in relation to their responsibilities in regards to the concert which include providing adequate security and emergency support. From what I recall, there was footage at the time of a lot of gate jumpers, people rushing through the security gates. So I would think that there is at least some argument that security was inadequate. Having said that, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And I would think that most concerts suffer from the issue of gate jumpers to some extent or other. So I don't think Astroworld are unique in that regard from having people jump the gates and is that really something that Live Nation or Travis Scott can be held liable for the actions of others the actions of those that performed illegally in jumping the gates perhaps they can be held legally liable for that Uh, I don't know but uh, for me personally and perhaps from a biased position again as a fan of Travis Scott's music I don't feel that they should be targeted or punished unless there's very good reason to 
do so. And in my viewpoint, immediately following the tragedy, again, it occurred in 2021, there was a big media hoo-ha, a big media panic. This was front page news, very much a talking point across social media for days, weeks after the tragedy. And a lot of it was very negative, pointing to the demonic stage presence. You'll see some of the images here. It says on the stage, it says, see you on the other side. There's towering flames. There's demonic references. Some of the music is very vibrational and of a very low frequency. Some suggested that that might have in fact caused or contributed to cardiac arrest. I'm not saying that's the case, but I am saying that that is what was suggested. That the didgeridoo-esque low vibrational noise which occurred at several points in the concert may have contributed to cardiac arrest. That's what some people say. So I do recognize the demonic aspects to Travis Scott's performance, uh, to the concert set, etc. But that's in no way unique to Travis Scott. That's in no way unique to hip hop music. I mean, just look at heavy metal music that came out of the 80s. A lot of it was aesthetically demonic. So I personally don't buy too much into that whole argument that Travis Scott was literally opening a portal to hell. I don't buy into that argument too much personally. I think that's really as much as I want to go through. Ultimately, it is a tragedy. 10 people were killed, hundreds more were injured. Travis Scott and the organizers, Live Nation and others were really dragged through the mud. I'm going to say quite terribly during the time. And now following a 19 month investigation, it's been declared that Travis and others will not be facing criminal charges. And I'm glad about that personally. They are still subject to civil lawsuits. Perhaps there's some level of valid argument against them perhaps there isn't but at least Travis and others won't be going to jail over this tragedy I think that's a good thing personally so I'm going to wrap things up at this point if you appreciate the coverage please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit if you disagree you are more than welcome to comment as such in the comment section you don't have to agree with me that's perfectly fine not going to block you unless uh, you know there's a real need to but if you're respectful then I'd welcome your disagreement if you feel that I've missed some important points then please educate me educate others that might read the comments but either way i'm going to wrap things up at this point i appreciate you for listening take care